All right, I'm just gonna do this quick video to show my uh, boot time with my uh, new uh, desktop. I've got a uh, Gigabyte uh, G1 Gaming S7 uh, motherboard. I got the nice 7 6700K CPU on there, a Corsair, uh, I think it's H110i or X, something like that, water cooler. G scale set four times eight uh, gigabyte. I've got a uh, Asus Trix uh, GPU 980 Ti. I've got a uh, Samsung 950 uh, M2 drive 512 gigs. Uh, that's about it. I just have a little gigabyte um, uh, wireless card and uh, Bluetooth. Uh, it's still disabled in my uh, device manager. I also have a, a Samsung 850 Pro uh, drive right there. So it's a one terabyte. And I've got a, a Western Digital uh, four terabyte hard disk drive uh, in there. And I do have a uh, an Asus um, Blu-ray uh, drive as uh, 16 uh, times. So that's what I got. That's an uh, you know uh, Corsair Obsidian case uh, 750, the Air Edition, something like that. All right. So that's what I got, and I've got a uh, you know three three or well, four monitors, but I disable one monitor just for the purpose of this video, and I've got that uh, keyboard there, the Corsair. What is it? 70 something RGB 70, whatever it is, K70 and an old mouse here so anyway so i'm gonna do a, a test here uh if i look at uh task manager and we look at the startup last bias time 9.4 seconds so let's see if i reset it what's gonna happen and we're gonna time uh, we're gonna time the uh, the boot as soon as i click on the boot oh from here <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Uh, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to start fresh. So as soon as it's down, there you go. Everything's out. I'm going to click on the button. I'm going to click here. You see more or less how long it takes. Oh, I don't like that noise. This is all the codes. about 26 seconds I was a little slow there 26 seconds to get everything here from start and if I go into the test manager I want to go in the startup gives me a boot less bias time of 8.8 .8 seconds that's good uh, some of my laptops give me 2.5 could be faster um, everything's got there's the only thing here with uh, anything that's enabled here. I only have two things: uh, delayed launcher, sound blaster, and everything else is disabled. Uh, if I'm going to go see here, I'm going to just do MS config. Yeah, it's going to MS config right here. All right, so I've got uh, select thing here. If I look into the boot. No GUI, uh, all the changes, when I do the change, I always put that. Timeout is zero here. Services, uh, I've disabled a whole bunch of things. Uh, I'm gonna hide Microsoft, but almost everything is disabled. So like Corsair Link and all that. I, I just leave, leave the uh, creative that goes with the you know, uh, motherboard, easy to an engine, gigabyte adjust, whatever it is, everything else. HP's for my printer, but I'll leave it there. But other than that, almost everything else is is off. NVIDIA was for my card, so graphics cards, I don't play with it. Other than that, most everything is off. So um, so that's it. So and I'm going to go into the um, BIOS settings. 
I really like that when I go to the fast boot here I should bring this here enter by a by a setup now I love that stuff close this I'm gonna take a quick look at the bias settings and I'm just doing this as a quick video as you can see I'm just holding my smartphone in my hands and no image stability stabilization or anything I'm just trying to do that so people can see what I got and um, maybe help me if I can improve my boot time because this is what is killing me it's all about the boot time it's uh, that's the, the reason why I'm doing that so uh, so this is uh, bias here and the version that I got is S7G that's the last one that's on uh, gigabytes website so that's what I got here system information Windows boot manager it's UE, UEFI uh, boot up num lock on secure transfer full screen logo is disabled ultra fast boot uh, air less boot HDD EFI partial initial uh, PS2 uh, even if I disable doesn't seem to change anything so I don't uh, network stack no need for that uh, normal boot after power loss we put Windows 810 as Windows 810 so you can disable CSM support because that makes a big difference uh, could be 10 seconds in the boot time network stack is off and all of that and all that stuff is disabled all right um that's it all right where else did I have anything that I wanted to say something yeah security option here is uh, security option is on setup uh, setup password is required upon entering BIOS or if you put in system it's system boot and upon entering BIOS so I had both of them I had it at uh, system and by changing it, it it improved as well the boot time peripherals so this is disable PCI slot I got my graphics card onboard LAN control enable that's music legacy this is where I am all right of course super IO one thing here I want to show here serial port enabled that's the com port right little com port is a com port right there somewhere I disabled it didn't seem to change make a difference so uh, I, I went in back up and back and uh, put it back and enabled it uh, that's it um, Intel I didn't change nothing SATA that's where it is I didn't change nothing there Thunderbolt I disabled Thunderbolt that seems to help don't need it so disabled it all right and Intel didn't change nothing there chipset that's where I am everything disabled for VTD internal graphics disabled don't need it audio control enable of course and the rest is enable the last one IO, uh, IOA PIC I have it's enabled I have no clue what it does I googled it couldn't find anything power management always off disable disable the send off power loading on enable here USB DAC so that doesn't seem to make a difference and that's pretty much it these are the values that I have if I look at the uh, feature for overclocking um, advanced frequency setting I didn't touch nothing here advanced memory setting I don't think I want to go here that's what I got extreme profile disable I've seen that if I put XMP on it makes it worse so I'll leave it the way it is um, auto for the multiplier enable fast boot this is for memory makes a different memory uh, boot mode enable fast boot that does make a difference so this is pretty much the only uh, setting I, ch I change in uh, in overclocking so other than that I didn't change nothing PCL there's nothing to change there missing setting there's nothing here that I can change so that's what it is so um, F10 save and get out and then change nothing here so uh, it should be pretty fast hopefully just restarted it so let's see what happens it should be a fast boot so while it reboots um, if anybody's got anything it sees my settings I can make it faster there's something I'm missing or something I'm doing that's about 20 some seconds right uh, if there's anything I'm doing wrong if there's a setting that you guys see that is wrong let me know it's killing me I would love to have a 10 second boot 
time and uh, I don't seem to be able to get it. I think I've got all the hardware uh, to get it done. Um, and there's no reason why it should take 20 seconds. I see other guys that do uh, 10 seconds. I have no clue if they're cheating, if they're editing their videos, but to me, this is all uh, I got. And uh, I get 20, 22, between 22 to 25 second boots. So um, let, I hope this is helping those that have longer boot times than I do with the Gigabyte motherboard on the Z170 platform. And um, if you got something better, let me know. Thank you.